Hey guys, my name is Zediac and welcome back to another City Skyline experimental video where today we're going to try and only attempt to fish tuna. You might be wondering, Zediac, what's so special about this experiment? You're fishing fish. Well, tuna is one of the most difficult ones to kind of get. Uh, it requires a ton of things that you need to do in terms of making a certain depth of water, a certain free flow of water as well. So we're going to see if we can build a small little fishing industry, but only fish tuna. We're going to see how well that goes and if we can do it. So this is pretty much going to be the crappier version of Fishtown. <laughs> but we're going to see how this goes in this experiment today. So if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more of this experiment, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, then make sure you subscribe so you're notified when the next video comes out. But guys... Here it is. I've created a small little island. Got a little bit of a town on there right now. Like I said, it's the crappier version of Fish Town. We could call this instead of Fish Town, ha, huh? Trash Town. Oh, I don't think it has the same ring to it. But anyway, we have this little island. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and create the ability to fish tuna. Now, if we first check out the map, yeah. This is what we've got going down right now. It's pretty much all anchovies, a little bit of salmon, no shellfish, no tuna whatsoever. Now, to get tuna, we need some kind of flowing water. We're in the middle of the ocean. There's no water being flown, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So what I've done is I've created this as a small little island with a little bit of a mountain up here. So we can create like a little water source and kind of create almost like a natural spring that comes out of the island and then trickles the water down the little mountains into the sea. Now, we have to make it really, really fast flowing. And we'd also have to build a little fishing industry. But I think we should focus on getting the tuna first before we start pummeling boats out to try and create some stuffs. So, this is what we got right now. If I go to the elevation, I've been playing around with it. We have this nice little drop that goes down to here. But I'm more excited about this little kind of inlet of water that comes from the sea. If I can get it to also flow down here and cascade, it might create something really, really nice and fast flowing. So I think what we'll do is we'll pick the point just there, here, and we'll create like a little basin of where the water is going to start, which will also funnel its way out and then kind of cascade down uh, there. And then over on this side, if we kind of also set it up, um, da -da 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 let's kind of go for about here like that, so we can create a lip that kind of goes down as well. There we go. And it'll kind of hopefully funnel down there. But by creating this, we're creating the little basin. If if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. It probably is not even going to work. It's probably going to completely overflow. Now, if I up this quite high, I'm not sure if it's going to flood the little town. But let's have a little fast forward and see what happens. Uh, oh, it's getting a little bit high. But I'll wait for it to kind of funnel out so the water knows what direction it's flowing before it all goes mental. Right, okay, so it's going down there like we expected. It's pushing through here, and it should flow down here pretty fast. And I'm hoping I can turn this into a nice little tuna river, if that makes sense. But I feel like I might need to widen this to get the water flowing a lot quicker down here. So the reason we've got that little escape bit just there is so we don't overpower the town and completely flood that out. Now, this might take a little bit of time to kind of get it rocking and rolling, but as of right now, we have a nice little bit of tuna and shellfish up there. We get the flask flow in there, so we need depth more than anything, but the depth is kind of building up here, which is good, but it only starts there. Actually, this might actually work, to be honest. Hmm. This actually might work. So, oh, okay, it's kind of trailing off there, but there's ways in which I can make this also slightly deeper, because the ground level of the floor... Uh, the train's at 20. I can put it at zero to make it go a little bit further down, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't ruin our small little town right now. Water flows down quite nice. We might widen it a little bit. So what if I... Oh, oh no, 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 no. Let me undo that. Um, if I kind of just smoothen these edges off to kind of push them back a bit. There we go. So only by a little bit, it widens it up a bit. But by doing that, can also create a lot more flow coming through, which will be pretty interesting. 
And I think it works. I think we're kind of okay. Boats are still sailing. Hasn't flooded the town on this side. We got that kind of little bit of a border. Okay, okay, okay. So, and that's where our tuna trench has begun. So, it's not huge, is it? I like how we're now getting lots of salmon. And there's a little bit of a uh, shellfish up there as well. Uh, anyway, I feel like we need to make this a little bit deeper. So, let's actually now get down to the zero point. And if I drop it there, and if I create a little trench down here, and we push it all the way through, because this is where we can get boats to kind of run up. And I kind of bring it to the entrance and then push that and create a nice little wide trench there. There we go. So hopefully with the fast flowing water that passes through here, we'll smoothen this bit out here. Because it becomes like a ramp going upwards, doesn't it? That's pretty much what it becomes. And then from the get-go, how does that look? See, that looks pretty good. Now we've got to hope that that remains there. If not, we're going to have to kind of do something a little bit extra to get the water flowing quite fast. But for the most part, it looks like it's kind of holding out. But it all depends on when the water finishes and settles. But you kind of need that depth inside of the water, which is uh, hopefully going to work out for us. So while we wait for that to kind of settle then, why don't we look towards kind of building our little industry then? <coughs> So I think we'll create a bridge that kind of goes over and we'll kind of build it on this little peninsula here. So, roads! Um, well, let's pick it from here. Let's bridge it out. Um, all right, that is like the connecting point there. And then we'll see how that goes. Right, and now that's now in the freaking air, boys! What's going on? Oh, yeah, because I'm still bridging, aren't I? You know? <laughs> right, this ain't going to be fancy. It's not going to be, you know, something that we enter into any beauty contest. It's literally... Am I still bridging? It's literally just going to be so we can freaking set up our little fishing industry. So, right, it still looks all good. We'll go with all of that. Now, for the industry, we only want the tuna fishing. So that's the salmon, that's the shellfish, that's the tuna. Look at that. Look at that, man, boys. We created that beautiful trench. So we'll stick one here. We'll stick one there. We'll stick one there. And we'll just get a couple going along here. Now, it doesn't matter when they set sail here because they're only dedicated to tuna. They won't catch anything until they enter our little tuna trench. It's got a nice little ring to it, hasn't it? The Tudor Trench. Dum dum dum. <laughs> I don't know. Please ignore me. So let's just connect this up. It's going to be, uh, if you're driving around this fishing industry, it's going to be like zigzags for days right now. Um, but hey ho, there you go. Um, so if I bring that up to there, I'm going to just create that there, bring that to there. I ain't too fussy of how this is looking. Like I said, your boy doesn't care. And let's get this all connected with water pumped over and okay so we'll initially just catch tuna first before we start canning it and selling it so i want to see if we can get more money than normal out of it so power then um oh wind turbine it if i drop two down do you reckon that's enough drop another one just here and one just there Wind turbines, boys. And... Right, okay. So, the war's not going anywhere else right now. We're all good. We're all freaking good. So, that's the trench. Exactly how we created it. That's actually really cool. I like it. I like it. We got the salmon. A little bit of a shellfish up there. All good. Right, sweet, 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 sweet. So, let's start with this one, then. Oh, no, I do it here, don't I? I always forget where I'm meant to do the fishing routes. And we'll come up like this. I'm not actually sure how far I need to go. But if I just do something as basic as that. And the ship's now going out. And it's not until it hits the trench where that percentage starts to go up. That's cool, man. I like it. So I don't know if that's going to be long enough. When did they make the turn? Um, there, they're turning around about 50%-ish, so they might come back with 100% there. They might, they might not. 
Now, this is going to be the interesting bit now, is trying to get all this. Connected. This is going to be a pain. You're going to see so many freaking boats right now colliding. There we go. Oh my god, I've, I've done way too many. I've got the anarchy on as well, so I can, I can collide it. But you can't, like, normally have them... Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you can't normally have them uh, on the same route, which I think is a bit sad, to be honest. So I have to kind of do this wider angle going through it all. all right, up to there. We'll do the turn there and then come back out. <clears throat> there we go. So you can't connect it, which is so annoying. Alright, we try our best to get it all up and running, boys. And is there one more after this, I think? No, that's the last one. Sweet. Right, that's all done, then. And already I can see uh, vehicles, like the, the, the big trucks coming out of the fishing industry, where they start exporting sweet, sweet tuna. So, does this mean we're going to overfish this area? I wouldn't... I don't think the, the kind of splodge decreases over time, does it? The more you fish the area. That would be a cool thing if that happened, like, you know, it you depleted all the fishing stock, you have to give time for it to kind of um, grow, like in real life. That would be kind of cool, and I don't think it works like that, boys. I don't think it actually works like that. So we got like, quite a few vehicles trying to pass through. So do you think we should upgrade the road slightly? Boom. Oh, hold on, pause. It's meant to be a bridge. That's not a bridge. That's a bridge. <laughs> Why not just do it like that? For the funsies. For the funsies, boys. They'll get a few more vehicles in and out. So just from the get-go right now, I've just literally selling the fish uh, straight directly from the harbour. Um, we are generating 10,000 from industry alone. And to show you that it is just fish... Look at that. That is a ridiculous amount of income right now. Just from tuna fishing alone, boys. Oh my good god. That that is totally worth it. Now think about that. And then think about if I then incorporated the fish market and the fish factory. What happens then? How much more money am I gonna be making at that point then? Well Really? There's only one way to find out. So, right, where's the best place to put this? This is the tricky thing right now. If I just do a road down like that, and I'll just cut in like here, um, we'll go with, okay, we'll go with the actual canning facilities first. One there, one there. And the fish market will drop just there. Obviously, you've got to give them some power and water real quick. So then, the goods... We'll go from the little fishing docks, maybe over to here to start producing and turn it into higher revenue streams. And then that'll be interesting to see how that progresses. So we'll give it a few moments then for them to start producing stuff. We've still got so much coming out of the trucks. I mean, out of these harbours. Like a ridiculous amount. Like to the point where I'm thinking it might be worth... Look, look how overpowered it is over here. It might be worth another cargo port. Alright, let's get one of those on real quick. Um, cargo hub. Do we go for one of these instead? Oh, the thing's over this side, isn't it? Right, I wonder if... I drop that there. That this will make any difference. <laughs> wow! Wow, we said the heck. There we go. I'll just do like something like this. Ignore how terrible it is. Just for the purpose of this, boys. Just for the purpose. There we go. So I know it's kind of a little bit out of the way, but if any vehicles start going to over here, it's less vehicles going to over here, if that makes sense. Um, They might not even use it, but then again, we've got a train, so we can incorporate the train connection over there. 
They're like freaking animals, aren't they? I think this is the wrong position for it, to be honest. <laughs> it really was. Right. Um, cargo Harbour. Can I get another one up here? Right, we'll place one there as well. There we go. I don't think anyone's going to use that. They might import them some stuff from there, which obviously reduces a little bit more traffic as well. <clears throat> I'm going to see how that goes, but... Are these now pumping out the goods? What's the money like right now? So, 15,000. 16,000. 18,000. 19, 20,000. 22,000. Oh my good god. Right, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, right. What I'm gonna, gonna do now then is actually add in a shipping path that passes around here. Right, just so I can put some export areas on this side. There we go. Cargo hub. Cargo harbour. Yeah, we'll go with one of these. There we go. See, then, then it works. So if I put it kind of like there. Did that. Oh, I missed the power straight away. Give it some power like this. Give it some water real quick. So it has its own little export area on the this island. <clears throat> if we turn off all the traffic lights around here. So hopefully it can flow. That's now we're going to go over on that side and export, hopefully. So, in terms of money... Okay, it's down to 13,000 now as everyone changes their routes. But it's up to 20,000 straight away. 22, 23. Can you push to 24, maybe? I don't know if we will or not. 23, 24, 25. Oh, my good God. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I come all now shooting over to this side. 25,000 off one, two, three, four, five, six tuna fishing dock things. Literally, just two fish factories and a fish market. And it pushed up to 25,000. Look at that. That is ridiculous. That really is. The profit on this, guys, is crazy. And that is just from tuna fishing alone. Can we like proudly say this? This is like a very, very positive experiment. I think we can. I legit think we can, guys. Damn. The tuna trench. Oh, that's the wrong button. Hold on. Hold on. The tuna trench is real, boys. It literally is. That is glorious. I think we need to incorporate tuna trenches in all of our cities at this point. I think we do. Uh, but anyway, guys, we can end it for here today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.